Leo, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early April 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our toes into energy and see what's happening for the lovely Leos. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going. My gods and spirit team, what do we got for these Leos here in early April? And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Leo. Please and thank you, guides and spirit team. What's going on for my friends? And there is a lot happening astrologically, so I'm expecting all of the readings this week to have an extra little pizzazz to it. I mean, Leo readings usually do. All right, surprise, surprise. We have a card that could be someone thinking about the past, right? And with what's going on with the clip season and all that stuff, it makes total sense. Now, obviously, this doesn't have to be your energy. I always like this one. That dude looks very stylish with his haircut, right? Now, before we talk about all the little nuance of the card, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the April subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye you know i'd greatly appreciate it but enough of the promo into the reading let's talk about our distinguished friend over here so if you look at this card we see that guy with that awesome hairdo it looks like he's watching a film of some sort and notice there's an image of a woman there so when i see this for those of you that don't know about this deck this image that he's looking at is actually another card within the deck so they kind of pair together and the main theme with both of them, it's like people thinking of each other or looking at the past. So I would say for a lot of Leos, I've been seeing a lot of mental action in all the fire signs this week. Either this is like specifically someone thinking about you or you thinking about a specific person or even just taking walks down memory lane, right? That could be a big thing. This card always reminds me of the Six of Cups in that way. So whether it is a soul tie or something like that, remember, I don't solely just do love readings alone. So when I see this, I do absolutely think of somebody reminiscing okay so for a lot of you you might get stuck in that a little bit in this time another thing i do say about this card notice he is watching a film so there's something around entertainment so if you've been feeling a little bored lately you might need some sort of fun or some sort of entertainment that's a big energy with this card as well so we're just going to leave it over there let's uh get into tarot now and i always say that first card here doesn't make or break the reading it's just a little footnote so let's shuffle it up one time, see what we have for the lovely Leos, guides and spirit team. While we get this deck shuffled up and ready to go, let's talk about last week's reading. It was a little bit of a rough one, if I'm going to be honest with you. The reading was titled A Tough Ending. Now, that doesn't mean that every single Leo in the world is going through a very difficult ending right now. I mean, some of you definitely could be. But a thing I was seeing is somebody even coming to grips with one. So even if it was something that hasn't recently happened, or even if it was something from the past, these feelings and energies could come bubbling up to the surface, and there could be a lot of healing necessary or possible, depending. So let's see what we have for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone, so only take this how it hits for you, because we could be seeing your vibe or somebody else's, right? Let's get it going here. Three cards for Leo. What do we got for my good friends here, my gods? Thank you. <laughs> And what I say, you want to rewind it back and say that this card reminds me of the Six of Cups? Here we go again, right? Six of Cups is the very first card here. So it's like Spirit is saying, like, all right, you're not getting around this message. There's something we really, really need to take a look at here in regards to the past, right? Now, I know as a fire sign myself, we are generally eyes to the future, action-oriented. Let's go. Let's move forward. But there is some sort of link to the past here that we just want to look at. So let's get a couple more. What do we got here for Leo? Gods and Spirit team. All right, we got the Knight of Swords. Apologies about that train going wild out there. All right, not within my control, but yeah, this Knight of Swords, kind of like a train type of energy if I were to build that connection here, because this is just blasting towards something like a rocket very fast. Let's get one more. Thank you. All right, we got the Page of Cups. So there's some communication. There's a lot of people showing up here. In your reading this week, Leo. So we are absolutely going to want to take a closer look at all this. So let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, and we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. But at first look, first glance, 
this is all internal energy. That's the one thing I will say. Notice on the extreme ends, we have water. That's the realm of emotion, creativity, the feels, right? The feelings, the emotions of everything. Moving to the center there, we have this sword energy, logical, thought-based, seeing things clearly. So they're all internal. We have the heart, we have the mind, the heart, the mind. So there's a lot of internal energy. If that's not yours, it's somebody else's. But I feel like it could be okay. But when we see all the energy of other people, just know that other people's vibes and energies could be affecting you in big ways too. Like we have the soul tie card with the six of cups. We have a person, we have another person. So you might be extra magnetic in this time, Leo. Keep that in mind, like drawing people towards you. But let's go through piece by piece and really start to build this out. So position number one, the six of cups shares a lot of themes with our friend from the beginning with the stylish haircut. You see this card, it's a card of history. The two children, they're sharing a cup with each other. So yeah, it could represent a very important person or someone that you have a very long, deep history with. There's a lot of care and love within this card as well. But once again, it could just be thinking about the past or taking a walk down memory lane. And I've been seeing it throughout the whole entire Zodiac for weeks and weeks and weeks. A lot of the things, a lot of things from the past have been bubbling up to the surface for people, whether it's like situations returning, people returning, or just things bubbling up from the past. And the Six of Cups kind of reaffirms that. Now, hopefully this is good. This could be a good soul tie or looking back on good memories, but we'll want to see what's up with that. Once again, if it's none of the things about the past, it could just represent a partnership, okay? And not just romantic, just someone that you have a very close bond with. Now, moving to the center, and the clarifier really might tell us how they're feeling or what they're thinking. We have the Knight of Swords. As I mentioned, when that train was blasting by, this is similar to a train type of energy. You see that Knight of Swords in full flight. Now, for a portion of you, you might be connected to an air sign, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a really good card of action. This is a really good card of forward momentum change. It is extremely determined. It's locked in and it's moving. So we're talking about action. It's like a, a shock troop of some sort. Similar, I don't want to say similar to a tower, but it's just moving in super, super quick. And I've been seeing that little sudden surprising energy around you for a couple weeks, but there is a lot of determination and forward momentum here. But notice it was facing that six of cups. Now for a portion of you, yeah, this could be a person but another portion of you I want you to know, aside from the action, the movement, the determination, this night can be combative sometimes. It can be a little upset. It could be a little angry sometimes as well. So the clarifier for this is going to be super important. Now, when we link all of this together with the Knight of Swords and then especially with the next card we have coming up, there could be a very important or serious conversation coming in for a lot of you because we have the good old Page of Cups much softer energy than we have here with this knight of swords so water sign energy uh cancer pisces scorpio and pages could represent you they could represent children new things it could represent new skills learning but when i see the page of cups i think of communication talking sending messages emotional offers and outpours this is a really good vibe so i'm gonna want to see what's up with this but this could also be shy now i know leo energy i know a lot of leos aren't generally shy individuals so this could be a person around you that's a little bashful a little shy um, but it could literally just be talking and when we combine it all together I feel like this energy is moving towards you very quickly okay with like the possible soul tie than the other people you could be more popular than you usually are in the coming days and weeks Leo so I want to dive deeper on all of it let's jump in and clarify all right let's get a good shuffle here for my lovely Leos, please. What do we got? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. What's going on that Six of Cups? And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Leo, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, Six of Cups time. Is that Six of Cups here? Okay. All right, this is, I feel like this is good, good, but once again, surprise, surprise, we have another person showing up here. Now, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse underneath the Six of Cups. I feel like for a lot of you, either this is an extremely positive alignment or it's going to be extremely rough. Now, for a portion of you, if you do have issues with an older feminine figure or even a mother figure, 
there's there could be a little bit of bitterness here um, for another portion of you like with the queen of swords in reverse underneath the six of cups and this knight of swords next to it there could be somebody that has like a bad taste in their mouth they could be upset angry or mad and i'll get more detail on that when we move to the next however for another portion of you there could be somebody coming to peace with a situation okay like uh looking at it realistically, looking at it logically, accepting something for what it is. So for a lot of Leos in this time, you could have some form of peace or acceptance about a situation where it's like, okay, um, I don't have to be angry at it. It is what it is. It's given me that energy. Like, okay, it is what it is at this point, which is never a bad thing. Now, the Queen of Swords is always straightforward, no nonsense, no BS, just cut and dry to the point, but she could also be cold sometimes when I see her in reverse underneath the Six of Cups. That's why I said it's either really, really good or really, really rough. Either this is feelings towards somebody softening up or getting harder, okay? So it's either softening up or getting rougher. And we'll discern that as we move throughout the rest of the reading because I feel like we're going to have a little more opportunity to do so this could also be a person where it's like all right well sometimes i love him sometimes i hate him and i hate to throw around words like that but it's very love hate okay let's keep moving take that for what it's worth leo take that for what it's worth and yeah all these people so many people so why is that knight of swords wow quick i did one shuffle and it popped out ace of wands this is explosive action and movement here and i do feel this is aggression of some sort. So I will say for some of you Leos out there, maybe you're feeling a lot more hot and heavy than you normally are. Maybe you're burning up about something. And this could be good if you're channeling the energy in the right way. If you're channeling this energy in the proper way, it could be like, all right, I am focused. I am moving towards something. I am motivated. I am determined. This could be really good. But at the same time, it's like this weird duality we have here where it could be either really, really good or really extreme, really rough. Because this to me does feel like a bit of aggression and anger there. So maybe these are two people that are angry or mad at each other. Maybe there's someone that steps on your toes in this time as well. Now, for some of you, all aces do represent opportunities. They represent offers, new paths, new beginnings. So for a lot of you, you could be really like setting your mind towards the future. It's like, okay, well, I know what path I'm going to go. I know where I want to go. I'm determined to get there. Time to put into work and into action. That's where this motivation keys in. But at the same time, it's looking at the past. We got the Queen of Swords there. For some, I feel this is extreme, okay? So hopefully this is good action. Maybe we'll see when we get over to this page. But I just feel like, the reading for a lot of Leos in this time, it doesn't feel super balanced. There's just emotional or energetic extremes here in a big way where this could either be really, really good for you in progress or it's just really rough. Let's keep moving over to the page. And I do feel like there's something around communication in a big way, especially with all the people here, pages and aces, they represent communicating. Okay, so let's, let's see what's up with that page of cups. And we'll do a quick recap before we get into the shadow. So why is this page of cups here? Thank you. Yeah, all right. Okay. And for some reason, it's giving me that, oh, well. Okay, I tried. It's giving me that type of energy. I don't feel like this is someone necessarily giving up on something, but Six of Swords in reverse, we have a lot of repeating themes here. Again, we are like with the Six of Cups, now the Six of Wands. We got all the people showing up here. Now, when I see the Six of Wands in reverse, this to me does feel like someone who feels like either one, they messed up something where it's like, yeah, I mean, well, I tried. I did all I could do. So for some of you, maybe this is somebody that wants to mend a bridge. That's possible. But this one, even though it seems much less unassuming as what we have here on the front end, this is the one that tells me like, okay, someone either feels like they messed something up some way, somehow. Uh, for a portion of you, hopefully this is somebody coming in to try to smooth something over. But there is a talk of importance that needs to be had. Because with all this extreme energy, I feel like something needs to be aired out. Okay, something needs to be brought to light. Something needs to be uh, spoken about, literally. Now, for a portion of you, like maybe you've been suppressing some stuff in this time. Whether it's worries, whether it's doubts. I mean, I know Leos are generally very confident, but we're all human. Okay, and I feel like if you've been repressing a lot of doubts, if you've been having any worries in this time, Spirit is asking you to find someone to talk to or let this out. Maybe you just really need to clear the air with somebody or someone wants to clear the air with you with the Six of Wands in reverse because it is giving me that it is what it is where I did what I could. I tried 
type of energy. So for some of you, you might be in that place. So let's go through and do a quick recap here because I feel like this energy is very much hot and cold, very much up and down. It's either like really good or really rough. But if you kindly look in the box, position number one, we have the Six of Cups with the Queen of Swords. On the positive sense, this could be somebody either coming to peace with something from their past or accepting something. Like, okay, well, that happened how it happened. I'm going to accept it. I'm going to move forward. For another portion of you, yeah, this could be someone that is feeling a little bitter, right? Someone who's a little bitter about the past and they're like, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to look at it. Moving towards the center, we have the Knight of Swords with the Ace of Wands. So this could be an expression of aggression and anger that we have here. So whether someone's stepping on your toes or pissing you off in one way or another. For some of you, if this energy is channeled in a good way, motivational way, forward momentum way, this is really good explosive action coming in and progress. So for a lot of you, it might make big progress. So it just feels aggressive, what we have going here. Watch out for anyone trying to pick a fight with you too. On the back end, we have the Page of Cups with the Six of Wands in reverse. So once again, that it is what it is. There's nothing I could do about that or I tried. For another portion of you, there could be someone that wants to have an important talk with you to try to like mend a bridge or smooth something out. Um, but to me, it doesn't feel like they're going to try forever, if that makes sense. So do with that information what you will, Leo. Please take a screenshot. Let's see what's in the shadows for you, my friends. Let's get a good shuffle here for the lovely Leos. What is in the shadows for Leo? And yes, I always like to pull one of these at the very end. Just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see just yet. Shadow cards do not have to be a bad thing. They could be good as well. It all really depends. So let's get one shadow card here for the Leos. And if you made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel. And I have much love and appreciation for all my channel members. So let's get it going here. One for the Leos. One shadow card for my good friends. Thank you. Seven of Wands, aggressive. And that's another thing I'm seeing here. I don't feel like this is passive aggression, but it's been showing up in little doses throughout the whole entire reading. Like on the front end here, there was a little aggression. In the center, there's a little aggression. And then on the back end, it's like, oh, well. But the Seven of Wands on the, in the shadows. Now, for a portion of you, there could be a situation or something that you might feel like your hand is tied. Like, what? I can't do nothing about that. Or I can't control how they feel or I can't control that situation. It could also be feeling trapped or imprisoned in some way as well with the Seven of Wands. This is a card that often shows up when people are going through tests and speed bumps and roadblocks from spirit. Now, once again, just like the reading, this is encapsulating the whole reading into one card because this card could also represent determination. So if you are going through a tough time with a specific person or life in general, this is spirit telling you, listen, don't give up. It's like a me against the world type of energy, which could be really good. So I would urge you, especially if something's like really bugging you or tiring you out, just don't give up. Be determined to keep pushing forward. That's a really good energy here in that sense. But at the same time, there's there's an aggression. There's a thread of aggression throughout this whole entire reading, Leo. So do with that information what you will, my friends. That's what I have for you this week. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details. The April subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you could check out my digital calendar and schedule at mastermetaphysics.com. And if you got your name in for the March subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced on April 1st. But for the April subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of the beautiful Tarot in Wonderland. It's one of my favorite decks. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things as always, my friends. First, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments if you had to switch your zodiac sign which sign would you choose to be out of the whole 12? So if you do that, you'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love. And I'll see you soon.